Peter, can you explain the role of the returning officer? Yes, the returning officer is uh, the person in charge of, of, of an election. Uh, the returning officer has a duty to ensure that the election is conducted in accordance with the law um, uh, and has a, a variety of uh, uh, statutory powers to make sure that happens. On the actual uh, election night, uh, obviously the culmination of the uh, election process is that you end up with results uh, and that's where obviously there's always a little bit of theatre uh, involved uh, in the electoral process. Uh, we've discussed how at the counting tables the votes are processed uh, and counted and you get to a point where you have a result. However, that result needs to be signed off by the returning officer who has to be happy with the arithmetic uh, and, and with the process and of course deal with any potential disputes. Uh, in terms of close results, so there could be recounts, for, for instance. Only the returning officer can issue uh, or authorise the, those things. However, once you get to a result, it's the returning officer's job to uh, declare the results um, to uh, the people uh, who are present. Uh, and uh, certainly uh, here at Eastbourne Town Hall, we do it from the stage uh, behind me, um, and we will do it similarly um, at the Amex Stadium for the, uh, for the Lewis elections. So uh, the short answer to that is uh, the returning officer is the, um, the person for whom all responsibility starts and finishes for delivering an election. And it should be worth pointing out that it's only for district and borough elections where the district chief executive will be the returning officer. Where you have uh, elections that are on a national basis that we're participating in, like general elections, uh, the local returning officer is known as either the acting or deputy returning officer because the returning officer will be a regional or national figure.